Hi folks, the Filipina P here, and today I'll be asking local women to define the role of a man as they see it and what they expect out of a relationship, as well as what they provide in return. Now, I've often talked about the good qualities of Filipinas and how we can make excellent mates, but there's one issue in particular that you might not see eye to eye on, and it can cause a lot of problems. I think you'll spot it right away, but let's talk about it after you listen to the interviews. What's the role of a husband? Um, for me, I think husband is the one who who work for the family mm. because that's what we call ama ng tahanan. Mm -hmm. So he is the one who will pay for the bills, love her, love his wife, and mm -hmm. especially his kids. Okay, so the husband is the main provider of the family. Yeah. Okay, so what's the duty of a wife? The wife is the one who will take care of her kids and her husband. Okay, so the wife is basically um, the one taking care of the household yeah. and the kids and of course the husband first. Yes. The husband first, okay. If the husband is the main provider, should the wife help as well to pay the bills? I think it's a no. It's a no, okay. Yeah. So basically for you it's should be just the guy and the yeah. wife should just stay at home yeah. and take care of the house yes. and the kids. Yeah. Who comes first? Your husband or your family? Husband. I think it's my family okay. because my family is the one who look for you mm -hmm. before your husband. Okay. So I think it's my family. Okay, so but then again it says in the Bible, cleave onto your husband, leave your family and cleave onto your husband and become one flesh. I think I can't leave my family for my husband and I can leave my husband for my family. So it's just mutual. Mutual. Oh. What if they don't get along? Who's gonna be? <gasps> it's their problem. It's their problem. problem. <laughs> not mine anymore. <laughs> okay, so even if they don't, they're not, they don't like each other, they should bond together for me. If they really love me, then they should bond, diba? Right? Who gets to make the tough decisions? I think it's the husband. The husband? Yeah, okay. Because he is the main provider. Okay, so you'd be submissive to your husband? I think yes. I think yes. yes. <laughs> what benefit does a man get from being married? What are the advantages? It is the... Uh, there is someone or somebody who can take care of them. Okay. That's the concise and precise answer I can Con tell. Concise and precise answer? Someone that can take care of them? Yeah. What if he just hires a nurse? He doesn't need a wife. He doesn't have to marry the nurse. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For me, um, people get married because it's their choice mm -hmm. and like their mindset is like when I get older, I have some uh, someone who can look for me, especially when you have a kids. Okay, so someone to grow old with or with someone you love and okay. someone who can take care of you okay. in your lifetime. So it's really like till death do us part. Yeah. Oh, so it's like a lifetime partnership. Yeah. Gotcha. What if you meet the perfect guy? He's like the man of your dreams. He's perfect in every way, but he doesn't want to marry you. Would it be okay that you just, you know, just together without the paper? I think it's a no because I literally stand for the saying that I date to marry. You date to marry, so that's the qualifications. You just don't, you don't want to sleep around. You don't want to date a lot yeah. of people. You want to date that guy that will be your husband yeah. for the rest of your life. Yes. So, Miga, what's the role of the husband? Um, for me, uh, the role of the husband is to, especially, uh, most importantly, uh, to love his wife. Also, to provide the to, needs. To provide. And also, the wants of the wife. Oh, what are your needs and wants? <laughs> are they expensive? Uh -huh. Is it going to be an expensive one? Um, wants? I am a person that is not um, um, very... Um, 
um, materialistic. materialistic and ah. um, I I appreciate small things. Um, I appreciate small things um, coming from, especially from my love, I from my loved ones. Even if like that's just uh, like a cheap ones, that's okay. At least it comes from the heart. Yeah, it's the gesture, right? <laughs> okay. What about the wife? What's the duty of a wife? Um, for me, uh, as a future wife. <laughs> yeah, as a future wife. <laughs> um, as a future wife, uh, my role is to like to take care of the kids, especially, and to um to be the to be the what do you call it the light, light? the light, the of... light of the house. What about your husband? Um, Would you still take care of him? If you can... <laughs> You just said kids, eh? Um, um, yes, I would also take care of my husband, um, love him, and then when he comes, go, uh, when he um, he comes after work, I will, I will. You will. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna hold the lumber? No. <laughs> no. I will ask him if um, how's his day? Is it um, how's his work? Is it like stressful or like that? I would would just... you kiss and hug and give him a massage? Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> Future husband, if you're watching this, you're gonna be in for a surprise, Chadas. You're gonna be a lucky guy. Why should people get married? Um, for me, um, people should get married because um, me, uh, being being uh, into marriage is a lifetime, mm -hmm. and being with someone love the most is a lifetime. So without marriage, um, you cannot um, you cannot. You cannot experience the true love. Okay, so it has to have a marriage. A marriage, okay. Yeah. What benefits does a man get from being married? Mm, yeah. Um. <laughs> I can't think of any either. <laughs> no, no. Next question. Next question. <laughs> Why should a man pick you instead of other girls? I am a person who is very um, helpful, and um, I put others first before myself, and oh. that's the main, the main reason why man should chose me because um, that that characteristics of a, of a woman is very um, called this um, um rare, yeah, rare. <laughs> You met the perfect guy, but the problem is he doesn't want to marry you. He doesn't believe in marriage. He just wants to be with you forever and ever and ever. Amen. Uh, in that case, if a man um, doesn't believe in marriage or doesn't want to be um, to be tied up in a in a real life situation, I would um, literally um, force force him. <laughs> force <laughs> on him? No, I will just. What are you gonna do? No, I will just explain the the advantages the disadvantages of being married and <laughs> but what what are the advantages of being married see he's so perfect why do you need the marriage oh okay okay let's see you guys can pretend being married without signing the paper you can wear your gown you can have a big feast you can invite the the lazy uncle the chismosa tita to eat at your wedding all expense paid but it's just for it's just for a show and you guys aren't really signing the paper that you really are married you really are married to each other but he's there with you for the rest of his life no no <laughs> marriage <laughs> what else should i even offer okay so you're gonna force him yeah. by hook or by crook yeah okay so you have to marry me too okay okay marriage is very important i i gotcha you really want to get married huh mm -hmm. okay so what if he asks you to Sign a prenuptial agreement. Would you sign the prenuptial agreement? Yes. Oh, okay. You won't have any problem. Uh, you're gonna be okay signing the prenup. You're not gonna throw tantrums like no. you don't love me, you don't trust me. No. No. You'll understand why he's doing that, right? Yeah. What's the role of a husband? For me, the role of the husband is to support the family financially. Mm -hmm. the needs of the families uh, in terms of food, money, and especially the um, educational support for his um, children. Okay, so the main provider of the family. Yeah. Okay, someone who could hunt and bring the, yes. bring the meat to the family. What yeah. about the wife? What's the duty of a wife? 
Um, basically, as Filipino, I observe that wives are just basically um, at home, taking good care of the children, um, preparing their food, preparing their their children and their his or her husband's food for their daily lives and washing clothes, like household chores mostly. And is it okay? Is it not frowned upon here? Because it's sometimes in the West, women say that's beneath them. Yeah, but maybe differs from our culture because most of the wives are just stay at home. But yeah. it's not really bad. It's it's fairly common to see no, a because, wife staying yeah, at home. Because it's um, helping each other. Exactly. Who comes first? Your family, your parents, your siblings, or your husband? In a case when I already have my husband, maybe I will prioritize my husband, but it doesn't mean that I will leave my family. Right. It is important to pick or to have a husband that could understand the closeness of us Filipino when it comes to our parents. They know how to respect and they also love our parents the way we love them as their right. personal child. Okay. okay, what if they don't get along? What would happen? I can't pick and I will not pick a husband that will not love my parents. From the very start, from the very start, it's my parents that was there for me and I will pick a partner that will not love them. It's very unfair for them. At the end of the day, I, I still have my parents and I will support them even if I'm outside the country. You want to be married? In the future? Of course, I would, uh, I would like to have a partner that would take good care of me, that would understand me and to help me decide my decisions in life. What if you met the, you know, the dream guy of your life? <laughs> He's so perfect, except he doesn't believe in marriage. He doesn't want to marry you. Marriage is just, for me, it's just a paper. And if he is loyal and very faithful to you, yeah. there's, no, there's no reason that he would leave you because right. he loves you. Like, exactly. You're the one. In your opinion, what's the role of a husband? Um, the role of a husband is to take responsibilities of a household. Mm -hmm. He must be the one to, uh, to lead the family and of course to be the, uh, the leader in the household. Follow the leader, leader, yeah, leader. Okay, the leader yeah, of the household. the household. Okay, so he's the head. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the wife? The wife. What's her duty? <laughs> the, rest, uh, the duty of a wife is to give light of a household. Oh. Means she, was be, uh, she will be the one to take care of the kids if there is. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, she will be the, uh, the one to take care of her, her husband. Ooh, take care of the husband. Um, of course, she's responsible for cooking, cleaning, and everything. So. What about you? Would you be okay to be, you know, a stay-at-home mom or wife? If it's his will to, like, want me to stay at home, then I would If it's that. his will, would you consider yourself submissive? A little. <laughs> a little. <laughs> Why do you giggle? It's a little. I'm a little submissive. Do you want your husband to lead? Like, to be the leader of the relationship? Yeah, of course. Okay. Would you sign a prenuptial agreement? Yeah. Why? Um, it's actually me as a girl. I don't wanna like uh, marry someone because you know there are different like uh, misconceptions about getting married just because, it, especially if that guy or yeah, uh, for example, if that guy is already stable. Right. Um, people would say, ah, oh, she will just marry that because of money. Right. Uh, and b besides of that, I also wanted to get married just to also to like protect the you know protect something in that guy. What What's what in he, that? What, what he, he had? Yeah. What he had and what I had, because you know, uh, we cannot say that um, a marriage is perfect. Right. So. So what, that way too, you can prove yeah, to him that you're not just about. You're not just after his money or something. Exactly. I don't know why girls are so mm, kind of upset when the when the guy is like talking. Many about, girls would be upset. I know. It's like it's also protecting your interest yeah. in the in the. And no, of course, you're gonna know if that your interest is like really love. Yes, exactly. Release, or or something else. And so, also, if you're marrying him for the rest of your life, then what's the problem, right? Yeah, That's like, what's the problem? I you're agree. gonna be staying with him yeah. for the rest of your life. Then what's the problem? Why do you? Why are you so adamant? That should be like, I know. That should be like a, the basic protocol. Before get mar before getting married, 
sign a prenup. Yeah. Make it easier, you know? So, what if you met the perfect guy? He's perfect in every way. He's very loyal, sweet, romantic, yummy. Did I say yummy? And yeah. yummy. And also, <laughs> he told you that he's going to love you forever and ever. But. Oh, there's a but? There's a but. Of course, there's okay. always a but. <laughs> I smell a but coming. <laughs> I just want you guys to uh, live together without the paper. Mean he don't believe in marriage? But let me ask you something. What's really the importance of marriage? For me, nothing really unless you're having children. Because for a guy, there's no benefit. Yeah, there's no benefit. Guy, for a guy alone, there's yeah, no... Yeah, there's no benefit in getting married. To answer that question, it yeah. it's actually depends on the guys if he wanted to have kids. Like what you said earlier, right. marriage is important only when you have kids. You mentioned earlier you're single. Mm. Yeah. And you're actively looking <laughs> for a partner. <laughs> Describe. Oh, yeah, I know she's yeah, she's really pink. Oh. Okay, so um your perfect mate. Draw draw him for us right now. <laughs> He's mature, of course. Mature? Is it age or just mindset, age, mindset. whatever. Okay. He's mature, uh, responsible, of course, gentleman. Okay. Um, all the good stuff. All the good stuff. But how about physically? I'm not really looking to like really handsome. Okay. I, I, not a Brad Pitt? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what about height? Height. Mm, height. Taller than you? 5'4. I am 5'4, maybe 5'6. Or not specific. 5'6 and above. <laughs> okay, okay. How about salary? Does it matter? Uh, no, it does not matter. How about body type? Uh, skinny, no, muscular. No, really. That bod body with a little beer belly. <laughs> beer belly. Cuddly. Or a fluffy. Cushy. Yes, cushy. <laughs> fluffy? Uh, yeah, Cuddle. I don't care about that. Langa, what's the role of a husband? <laughs> to provide for uh, for their family and to support and take care of her family. What about the wife? What's her duty? Um, to clean the house and take care of his her children. Mm -hmm. How, what about a husband? Should she take care of the husband too? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Which comes first, your husband or your family? My family, of course. Your family? Yes. Okay. What about the husband? Isn't he supposed to be your main family now, now that you married him? <laughs> no, I don't know. You don't know? But in your opinion, it would be your family first? Yes. Okay. Isn't it kind of unfair for your husband though? Maybe not. If my husband is understanding what if what if his priority is you and your priority is not him <laughs> it's gonna be a problem right <laughs> what benefit does a man get from being married I can see what is the advantages of being uh, married yeah there are no advantages <laughs> so you can't think of any advantages for a man being married what do you offer a man? Why should a man marry you? <laughs> to continue their lineage like that. Okay, to to create and multiply. Yes. Okay, yes. so <laughs> that's one thing you can offer a guy? <laughs> to, to create and multiply? Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Would you be okay living together without the paper, without being married to him? I want a guy that can marry me soon why should a man pick you over other girls what can you offer him <laughs> should pick me because i'm stable i'm single and i'm also virgin <laughs> stable single and a virgin yeah okay how can you find that to others i know it's rare rarity <laughs> is here the unicorn <laughs> Okay, so your husband is gonna be the only guy in yeah. your life. <laughs> what if you met the, your perfect guy? He said, I'm gonna love and devote my life to you forever. I'm gonna stay with you, but we don't have to get married. Would you be okay with that? No! Why not? No! <laughs> For no is 
I think marriage is important. How so? Gives me assurance. Is the paper an assurance? Yeah. <laughs> Would you risk that guy? This guy, because he doesn't he doesn't really believe in Maybe. signing a paper but would you choose a different guy that you're not really sure that you know he's gonna stay he's gonna stay loyal to you that guy but that, the, the guy but you said you want to get married but i'm gonna propose to him okay <laughs> now we're talking yeah so if he doesn't want to marry you then and, i'm gonna propose to him yeah okay which comes first your family or your husband my husband nice Ooh, interesting. Why is that? Because he's my partner. <laughs> because he's your partner and he's your family <laughs> supposed to be, right? Because okay. we're building a family. What's the role of a husband? So the role of, for me, the role of the husband is to prov provide the needs of their family. What about the wife? What's the, the duty of a wife? Household works. Okay. Like for cook. To cook? Clean. Okay. So, also take care of the children if nanay anak. Oh, oh, okay. So to take care of the household, to help the husband and take care of the kids. Yes. If the husband is the main provider, should the wife also help to pay the bills? Like, should she look for a job? We will know because the husband can do it. Okay, so the husband can do it. So the wife should just only stay at home. Yes. Okay. So which comes first, your family, like your parents, your siblings, or your husband? For me, family, I should prioritize them first. For the f In the future, they can also help me. Okay, My so family. you want to prioritize your family first so they can help you in the future. Yes. But what about even your husband? I mean, why not prioritize your husband? Not all your attention was into him. Not all your attention? Yes. <laughs> yes? Would you sign a prenuptial agreement? For me, no. No? Why not? But sharing is caring. <laughs> sharing is caring? <laughs> You're gonna be sharing. You're gonna be sharing anything that you have during the marriage anyway. Okay, so sharing is caring. All right. Okay, so why should a man marry you? What do you offer a man? Doing household chores. Like household Anna. chores? Okay, you can offer to do the household chores? Yes. Then he could get a maid. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have to marry the maid. He doesn't have to risk his asset to marry the maid, but okay. Now, obviously, this is a tiny sample size, so we can't draw any definitive conclusions. But several things should become crystal clear. Filipinas overwhelmingly believe in more traditional roles for both men and women, with the man as provider and the woman as mother and housewife. We're perfectly content doing the cooking and cleaning, and we still view marriage as the gold standard for a happy life. That might sound good so far, but I'm sure you spotted some potential problems, like the importance of a Filipina's family and the way it affects her thinking. It's a completely alien concept to most Westerners, and if I were a man, I'd have serious reservations about getting involved with a woman that didn't put me first. Isn't that what a marriage is supposed to be all about? Now, some of you might see this as a noble trait, while plenty of others are bound to see it as an obsessive devotion to her clan, and it can cause a lot of problems down the road. This might be a valuable conversation to have before getting too deep into our relationship, to find out where you stand on the totem pole. I also got the feeling that some of these young women had never even wondered what a man gets out of the relationship and why marriage would be an attractive option. We Filipinas certainly have our own strengths and weaknesses. And as always, it's my job to point it out. I look forward to your comments on the subject. And I'll be back on Tuesday with something new. Till then, folks. If you think about it, I'm kind of like a Hooters girl without the Hooters. Serving you exactly what you need. A double shot of hot, fresh content twice a week. The only thing I ask for my service is a thumbs up on this video, subscribing to my channel, and hitting the notification bell so you know when your next meal is ready. If you want to become one of my favorite customers, 
please check out my Patreon page for extra content and exclusive features. To help you decide what to order, check out this delicious assortment of great choices. Now, what can I get you?